tonight on Unsolved Mysteries. These intricate formations are known as Google circles. They often pop up when you open a Chrome browser. Many have no rational explanation at all. Are they the work of some strange force on Earth or something not of this world? I've been getting a lot of questions asking, what's the difference between the two circles in Google? Yeah, my face shows up because that's my user profile picture in this small circle up above and then the one that's down below. What the heck is the difference between these two chrome circles? Well, hopefully I'm gonna be able to explain it to you so that you understand. So I'm gonna to refer to this circle as the bigger circle and this one is the smaller circle for the rest of the video. The bigger circle is our Google account. So what does that mean? That means if you are logged into Google, which I am now, I can go ahead and use my Gmail, I can use my calendar, I can use all of the apps that go with the G Suite, and it knows that I'm associated with this particular email address. Now, if I have other email addresses that I want to use the email for or the calendar for, this is where I can switch, or maybe I have someone else that wants to use my computer. I would click on my face of the big circle and then switch to that email address. And now I would have that email addresses, email, calendar, anything else that's associated with it. If I have someone else that wants to use my computer, I can go down and I can add another account. This is where they would enter their Gmail address and password and then their big circle icon would show up. Maybe it's got a picture of them, maybe it's got a letter, but that would show up and then they can use their email. Now, how does that affect the small circle? I don't know. Well, let me go back. So I'm gonna click the big circle, which is my Google account, and I'm gonna switch it to another Google account that I have. That didn't change my small circle. Oh, no, 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 no. So what that means is I'm using my email, my calendar, even Google Classroom, but I still have all of my bookmarks and all of my Chrome extensions from my other account. If I wanted my bookmarks and my Chrome extensions to match the email address that I'm working with, I would click the small circle. So my small circle is here, and then if I don't have this particular account loaded, I would go down to add. When I click add, I would have to name this. And I would pick one of these little pictures to go with it. And then if I'm already a Chrome user, which I am with this account, I can go ahead and hit sign in. This is where I type in my email address for this account. And then password. And now what we wanna do is we wanna link data to this. That's going to take all the bookmarks and all of the Chrome extensions that I have associated with this account and bring them into that top bar. So I'm going to click Link Data. And yes, I'm going to turn on the sync. And what you'll start to see is you'll start to see any bookmarks that I have or any Chrome extensions that are associated with this account pop up. So I don't have many with this account. I want to go back and I want to switch it back. I can click the small circle and easily go back to my original Chrome profile. And now all of my extensions and all my bookmarks are there. So small circle controls all of those tools at the top of your Google web page. Big circle controls all of the functions in the G Suite. Now that we have all these accounts, what if we want to get rid of some? Well, for the small circle, we would click on it and we would go down to sync is on. And we want to turn that off if we don't want anyone else using our account. So I would click that and inside of settings, you will see that we're able to turn it off. So if I wanted to turn that off, I could. But instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to another account and I'm going to turn that sync off. So I'm going to go down to where it says sync is on and then I'm going to turn it off. We're going to hit clear and continue. What if you wanted to get rid of one of these accounts? That's simple enough to do as well. You're going to go to the gear icon where it says manage people. 
all of your profiles will show up. And when you hover over one of them, you will see three dots. You can click on those three dots and then you can remove that person. So you can take them off of your Chrome profile. What if we want to sign a user out of the big circle, which is our Google account? Well, we can click that circle and we can go down to sign out. And when we click sign out, it will give us a list of all of the different accounts that have been signed in. From here, we can remove an account. And once I click that, I could actually click this minus sign and it would remove that account from Chrome. So if you sign into another person's computer, you may want to do this. You may want to remove your account from their computer so that it doesn't pop up every time. Hopefully this clears up any questions that we have now about the large circle and the small circle in Google. Join me.